This was not the first attack against Egypt's Coptic Christians, but the twin blasts were one of the worst and turned celebration into a bloody Palm Sunday. Some funerals have already been held. The Copts are a religious minority and many are feeling increasingly persecuted. How did this happen on our feast? Where is the security? There is no security. How did he infiltrate the church with an explosive belt that weighed six kilograms? I feel sad. Both churches were packed with worshippers as they were celebrating Palm Sunday, a week before Easter. In this CCTV footage from St. Mark's Cathedral in Alexandria, a bomber is seen walking up to the gate. The man is stopped by security guards. He then walks to a metal detector before detonating a bomb. Earlier, an even more devastating attack hit the St. George's Church in the city of Tanta. Daesh has claimed both. Egyptian President Abdul Fattah al-Sisi has called for national unity and announced a crackdown on Daesh. We have issued a number of measures, and on top of those is declaring a three-month state of emergency in Egypt after fulfilling the legal and constitutional measures needed to declare the state of emergency. We are declaring a state of emergency only to protect our country. Christianity is Egypt's second largest religion, accounting for 10% of the population. In December last year, an explosion at a Coptic cathedral in Cairo claimed the lives of 29 people. And at the start of 2011, 23 people died in another suicide bombing in Alexandria. Egypt is already under autocratic military rule. President al-Sisi has now faced down an increasing threat from Daesh, whose militants are willing to tear the country's fragile fabric apart. Ben said, TRT World.